Hello craft team, I'm back again with another bow headband design. This technique is a little bit different. You see how I got to achieve it. If you're new here, you're all welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I am Imiwari. Let's get crafting. <laughs> project today we'll be needing some items we need our glue gun scissors tape needle and thread and for our fabric i'll be using a stretchy fabric and i need three different measurements for the head band i need four inches 14 inches length four inches width and for the design we'll be making i'll need 11 inches width 11 inches length three inches width and eight inches length four inches width then i'll need a smaller fabric to for the covering now this is for the base i'll just fold in half lengthwise and sew with the good side facing each other i'll fold lengthwise in half and sew so now i'm done sewing i use my sewing machine to sew it so i'm done sewing this is what i have so i'll set this aside then we'll move to making our design now for our design for each of the measurements you need two pieces each like for the one that is 11 inches you need two sets of 11 inches so now i'll start making a rolling stitch lengthwise i'll make my rolling stitch lengthwise on both of the fabric now i'll do the same for the one that is also eight inches what i'm doing to this 11 inches fabric the both set i'll do the same for the one that is eight inches so just take note your two measurement you can use any measurement of your choice you can increase the length or decrease it depends how fuller you want your bow to be or how small you want your bow to be so you can increase your measurement i'm done making my running stitch then i'll go ahead to wrap around the knot to secure it firmly so that that is what i'm doing now i'll just use my thread to wrap it around once i'm done wrapping it around to make sure my running stitch stays in place then i'll go in with my needle and just try as much as i can to tack it down and keep it in place so this i'm doing now how do for the other set of the 11 inch fabric and the one of the the both set of the eight inches fabric i'm doing the same thing so i'm just using this one to show you the process but the same thing i'll do for all the fabric because i want to achieve the same design so i'm done making my running stitch on all of my fabric now i will use my glue gun to apply glue and attach it the way i'm doing i'll apply glue on one end and attach it i'm i'm done applying my glue i did it off camera be careful when you're using hot glue it can burn so I'm, I've attached it for both the 11 and the 8 inch. So I'll place the 8 inches on the 11 inches and also apply my glue to bring them together. This is what I've done here. So I'm just holding it in place so it will stick firmly together. When it sticks firmly and you're, you're sure your is sticking well together, will now attach it to the headband base now the headband base i'll place it at the middle and use my hot glue to also attach it down when i attach it down i'll now also apply glue by the sides of my bow so that i'll bring the two sides towards the center making the center of my bow to uh, my base to be smaller so see the what I have. So I'm just pressing it down. I've applied glue to, to both sides. So I'm just pressing it down. So the center of my headband base becomes smaller. 
so this is what i have then when i'm done ensuring it's sticking down and is in place the last piece of fabric i didn't measure it because now that is dependent on the size that you need to wrap around the center of your bow so you can just when you're done you just measure it because now is a little bit big here i still had to cut out some i use the stretchy bit i use the stretchy bit so i'll just cut out the size that fits my bow then i'll go ahead and sew it with the good side facing the bow i'll sew it when i sew it down then I will not turn it, turn the good side over. I'm done sewing it down. I'll cut off the SS thread. When I cut off, sorry, I'll cut off the SS fabric. When I cut off my SS fabric, I will not turn it over to the good side. Now the good side will be facing upwards. So that is what I'm trying to do here. It's a quick bow to make, simple and easy to make. So. You don't need much time it's so quick to make and this technique is so unique and beautiful it's so unique and beautiful you try it out and if you do you can send out your your pictures on instagram at it is fine crafties and if you're here to join the craft team you can click on the subscribe button to join the craft team for more edward tutorials fashion accessory diys and millinery tips and many more to come you can also join us on facebook at ibis fine crafties connect and at ibis fine crafties so yeah is our beautiful bow this bow is for a baby you can for adult use the eighth circumference of the adult and you can use a stretchy fabric so you can just measure the exact eighth circumference so this is what we have our final look is looking so lovely fluffy and beautiful so this is another technique you can use in achieving your bow it's so beautiful i wish you try it out and get to leave us a comment in the comment section to know what you think till we meet again next time take care of you and